Hello and thank you for checking out this video about the Toro Workmaster that we put a brand new engine in. Of course, I, give a, I have to give a shout out to Cranky Tuber who gave me the confidence to be able to do this. I didn't think that I could. I'm not that mechanically inclined, but you know, I tell you what, he just gave me the confidence to do it, so I went for it, stumbled my way through it. Now, it had the uh, original 14 horse Kohler motor in it, and what we went with, the Predator 459, it's a 15.8 horse. Uh, when I redid it, I had to relocate the battery and the gas tank. The battery used to go here, the gas tank used to go here. I took the air filter, the gas tank, everything off of that. Uh, if you guys want to do the air filter, you can look up uh, for the 420 from Predator. It's the same setup, it'll fit. Go to AutoZone, you can pick up this little one for the pressurized crankcase. Um, things that I had to do to it, was I had to shorten the drive shaft. It was two and a half inches too long. And then also I had to raise up the muffler. I'll see if I can show you what that looks like. So that thing right there, I had to shorten two and a half inches. And then I raised the muffler up about four inches so that it could come off of the engine, uh, the exhaust flange right there and just come straight out the back. The other thing I did was I uh, drilled a small hole into the plastic arm for the choke and then I just ran a threaded rod all the way through so that I can operate it from sitting down. I also replaced all the gauges, cranky tube. Tuber gave me a link for a lot of them. Got the clock battery meter, hour gauge, and then my lights even work. You go over to Cranky Tuber's uh, YouTube page and he's got a link for all that stuff. Those lights took about two months to get here, but they are finally here and I am super excited about it. Now, as for this ignition, if you're gonna use a Predator engine, I don't know about all of them, but I can tell you about the 459 that it has a magneto and it comes with a rocker switch. When you use the rocker switch, it does not have um, an ignition or accessories line that when it's on, it has power going to it. So I couldn't run my cluster. I wanted to have my lights hooked up to it so when the key's off, the lights are off and I don't drain my battery. And unfortunately, that rocker switch doesn't have it. So I had to get an ignition. I tried a traditional ignition, which started the engine, but it did not turn it off because it has a magneto that has to be grounded so that the engine stops. So you have to find an ignition that goes to an old boat motor that had a magneto on it. So I just typed in uh, ignition for older Johnson boat motor. And that's what I got. And it works. And I absolutely love it. This 15.8 um, is more powerful and faster than the old worn out 14 horse that I had. And I could not be more happy. I'm looking forward to this winter. If you look on the... Uh, my page in the video just before this, uh, we're pushing a plastic snow plow in the winter, and I'm excited to see how it's going to do this winter. So thank you for checking it out. Appreciate you guys. Good luck on your project, and go check out Cranky Tuber. We'll see ya.